Now, you might have thought, though we have a forward propagation method, why is there need for back propagation? Why is it important to learn back propagation? Well, I guarantee you that after watching this video, you will understand why back propagation is needed and why it is applied everywhere. Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing well. And in this video, we will be looking in detail about back propagation. Back propagation can be called the building block of a neural network. And you'll understand why after watching the complete video. But before we get started, consider subscribing to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and hit that bell icon. And that way you'll be the first to get notified when we post similar content. Now let's move forward and look at what the agenda is for today. First, we'll look at what is backpropagation. And after that, what is backpropagation in a neural network? Next, how does backpropagation in a neural network work? And further, we will understand benefits of backpropagation. And finally, applications. But before moving forward, let me ask you a question. Which among the following is not a neural network? Input layer, output layer, propagation layer, hidden layer. Please leave your answer in the comment section below and stay tuned to find the answer. So what is a backpropagation algorithm? Backpropagation is an algorithm which is created to test errors which will travel back from input nodes to output nodes. It is applied to improve accuracy in data mining and machine learning. Coming to backpropagation in neural networks, well, what is backpropagation in neural networks? Well, the concept of backpropagation in neural networks was first introduced in the 1960s. An artificial neural network is made up of bunches of connected input and output units, each of which is connected by a software program and has a certain weight. This kind of network is based on biological neural networks, which contain neurons coupled to one another across different network levels. In this instance, neurons are shown as nodes. Well, now that we've understood what the backpropagation algorithm is, we'll come to the next topic, the working of the backpropagation algorithm. So the backpropagation algorithm is applied to reduce cost function and to reduce errors. We have a sample network with two hidden layers and a single input layer where data passes in. And this data is finally received by the output layer through all these neural networks. Whenever we pass the data to the input layer, it will pass through the neural network until it reaches the output layer. Each model receives its input from the previous layer, and the previous layer output is multiplied with weight, which will give the activation function, or A. And the result of this is passed as an input for the next layer. And this process continues to happen until we reach the output layer of each neural network. And this process is referred to as forward propagation. So after reaching the output layer, we get the resulting output for the given model from the input. Output with the highest activation will be considered as the suitable output match for the corresponding input. Loss is calculated on what the model has predicted as input and what the actual input is. Now here, backpropagation is used to calculate the gradient of the loss function. In backpropagation, we are coming back from the network, and now we have the output generated by the given input. Now, gradient descent looks at the output layer, and gradient descent understands that the value of one output increases and the other will decrease. We know that the output is derived from the previous layer's output multiplied by the weight of the network. Backpropagation is the tool that the neural network considers in order to calculate the gradient of the loss function. It is calculated by taking the derivative of loss function by weight. And now we have the loss function calculated from the previous layer. Now, gradient descent will start calculating the value through the previous network using backpropagation with the aim of reducing loss. We know that the value is coming from the weighted sum of the previous network being multiplied by the output of the previous layer. And this process is repeated until we update the value of the previous sum. So as we can see, we are going backwards. And from this, we can increase the value of the correct output node and decrease the value of the incorrect input node. Thus, it will reduce the loss. 
and the activation function, which has the highest value, should increase, and the lower value will decrease. Do you remember the question that I asked earlier? And which among the following is not a neural network? Well, I hope you got the answer by now. And the answer for the question is propagation layer. And to do this, we need to change the output of the previous layer. We cannot directly change it, so we're going to change its previous network. And why do we need to choose backpropagation? Well, below are some of the important factors on why we need to choose backpropagation. So backpropagation is quick, easy, and simple to implement. It is a versatile method because it doesn't need prior network knowledge and only has input numbers as parameters to tune. And there is no need to make any special note of the characteristics of the function that must be taught because it is a common way that typically works effectively. And the final topic is applications of backpropagation. It can be used in the field of speech recognition. And it can also be used to recognize voice and signature. The neural network has received training to pronounce each letter in a word and a sentence. And the neural network has received training. Therefore, backpropagation finds itself in almost every field where neural networks are used. Now, in case of any questions, please mention them in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Happy learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.